This is formulae lesson number one. Before we get to our example, a reminder of something you already know. Bod mass. By convention, calculations are done in a fixed order. The mnemonic bod mass helps us remember this order. B stands for brackets. O is only included to make bod mass sound like a word. Our next important letter is D, which stands for division. M stands for multiplication. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Squares, square roots, cubes, and so on are performed before division and multiplication. It is important to stick to this order if we are to be successful. Brackets first, followed by divisions and multiplications, and finally additions and subtractions. Sticking to the correct order is important when completing any mass calculations, but bod mass will be particularly important when completing formula equations. Often a formula has a combination of different operations. There may be brackets, additions, divisions, multiplications, squares, square roots and so on. And in order to get the question correct, we have to stick to the correct order. On to example number one, which will be our only example in this lesson. We have the formula v squared equals u squared plus 2as. This is a formula used in physics for calculating the final speed of an object. V stands for final speed. U represents initial speed. A represents the object's acceleration. And S represents the displacement of the object. Displacement is similar to distance. Our question asks us to find the final speed of an object given its initial speed, its acceleration and displacement. In order to keep things clear, we're going to write down the information we already have at the side. So first of all, V, the final speed, that's what we're trying to work out. We don't know it at present. U, the initial speed is 10 metres per second. A, the acceleration is 5 metres per second squared. And the displacement S is 150 metres. Some of these units may be unfamiliar, but don't let those confuse things or worry you. So back to our formula. Any time you're completing a question which uses a formula, the first thing you should do is write down the formula. Next thing we want to do is substitute in the information we have. So V is what we're trying to calculate. V equals U squared. U is 10, so that's 10 squared. Then we have plus 2AS. Now these numbers and letters are just sitting beside each other. What does that mean? Well, when letters and numbers are sitting beside each other, that means that they are multiplying. So what we have is 2 times A which is 5, times S, which is 150. 
we have a squared term at the beginning we have some multiplications and an addition so it's important that we remember bod mass our next line v squared equals 10 squared which means 10 times 10 that's 100 plus and then we have 2 times 5 times 150 2 times 5 well 2 times 5 is 10 10 times 150 is 1500 so we have v squared equals 100 plus 1500 that means that v squared equals 1600 is that our answer no we are trying to find v not v squared so putting down v on the next line so what we're doing here, we're going from v squared to v. So we're sort of like unsquaring it, if you think. All right, and what does that mean in math? That means that you're taking the square root. So v equals the square root of 1,600. Now at this point, you can use your calculator to find the square root of 1,600. The square root of 1,600 is 40. So V equals 40. And our units for speed or velocity is metres per second. So our answer is 40 metres per second. If we look back at our square root, we could have done this without a calculator. If we see the two zeros, that represents 100. Square root of 100 is 10. That's where the single zero comes from. Our other part was 16. The square root of 16 is 4. So the square root of 1600 is 40. That's our final answer.